Good morning, students. We are discussing pavement design and highway construction. For today's main topic, that is the construction of flexible pavement. Well, we already know that the flexible pavement can be constructed layer by layer. So, in this lecture, we will start with the base layer. Base layer that means the kind of foundation layer, and that is our subgrade. Okay. We have seen that uh, subgrade layer also consists some embankment portion. So in this lecture, we will discuss on the construction of embankment and the subgrade of the flexible pavement. So starting the lecture with the construction of embankment and subgrade. Well, talking about embankment, an embankment refers to a volume of earthen material that is placed and compacted for the purpose of raising a particular grade raising this surface at some particular grade for the roadway above the level of the existing surrounding ground surface and the subgrade is referred as a imported material that has been used to build an embankment so all in all we can say embankment and subgrade are combined with each other so let's start the construction procedure for the embankment or the subgrade the step one that is the setting out well after the completion of the site clearance the limits of the embankment shall be marked by fixing packs at some regular intervals before commencing the earthwork so can we can justify the plan that is given to the engineer for that particular construction okay now the construction tall line shall be more than the design tall line so that we can freely work we can freely construct the structure on that particular land okay also for the proper construction of the age line of the road pavement the second step that is the dewatering if at the site if there is any unnecessary water available unnecessary leaking is happening so for that we should do the dewatering process this process is to come out or to bring out the excessive water that is available in the foundation that is we can say a kind of a ground water so if the foundation of particular embankment is in an area with the stagnant water available and as an opinion of an engineer it is feasible to remove it the same shall be removed by bailing out or the pumping out the material and the area of the embankment foundation should be kept dry so that the bottom soil properties that is available in the foundation will not get damaged or will not get changed due to excessive water so that surface should be kept dry and for that we are doing the dewatering process during the process care shall be taken to discharge the drain water so as not to cause the damage to that particular work area it should not damage to the crops and any other properties that is in surround okay so that is the dewatering process after dewatering the next step that should be followed is stripping and storing the top soil the top soil from all the area of cutting and from all the area that has to be covered by the embankment foundation shall be stripped to specified depth that not exceeding the 50 millimeter and it should be stored in the stockpiles of height not exceeding 2 meter for the covering embankment slopes now out slopes and other disturbed areas where the revegetation is desired the topsoil 
shall not be unnecessarily subjected to the traffic either before the stripping or when in a when the material is in a stockpiles the stockpile shall not be surcharged for other loaded and the multiple handling shall be kept at a minimum level so this steps includes the storing of excessive material that is that we have we have collected from the cutting of that particular area so that we can use it where we require okay but such material should not be in a excessive manner so that it will get overloaded in the stockpiles okay so now till this step we have done with the setting outs we have already plotted the pegs we have marked our uh, border lines as well as what whatever the area where we have to conserve we have collected the excessive water we have done with the dewatering process then after we have applied the excavation that is a part of cutting and filling okay so from that whatever the extra material we get we have uh, kept it in a stockpiles now after this step we have to provide the compaction that means we have to compact the ground and so that we have to follow the compacting ground step for the next level now in this particular step the original ground shall be leveled to facilitate the placement of first layer of embankment then scarified and mixed it with water and then it should be applied for the compaction and that compaction should be done by the rolling so as to achieve the minimum dry density as specified in the modified technical specification the foundation treatment specified for the embankments shall be carried out as per approved drawing unsuitable material occurring in the embankment foundation shall be removed as per the direction and the approval of the high authority then it should be replaced by approved material and that approved material should be laid in different layers and then suitably it should be compacted the required and the specified degree of the compaction now excavation at approved borrow areas shall be carried out with the excavator and the transportation of excavated material shall be done by dumpers or the tractor or the trolleys now here natural ground soil shall be tested for its suitability if the thing found unsuitable it shall be replaced with the permission of the higher authority and then the dry density of the natural ground shall be determined this natural ground shall be tested for the dry density and if found less than 95 percentage of maximum dry density the original ground shall be sacrificed and then in mixed with the required quantity of water and then again it get compacted with the vibratory roller to achieve the minimum specified dry density so for construction adjacent to the existing embankment a continuous horizontal benching of 300 mm wide or as per the drawing shall be provided in the existing embankment now after compaction the next we have to spread the material over the subgrade okay that spreading should be done in the different layers so the step 5 is spreading material in the different layers the embankment material shall be then spread in the layers that should not exceeding 250 compacted 250 mm compacted thickness when using the vibratory rollers over the entire area with the dozer when the existing embankment to be widened continuously horizontal benches shall be cut out into the old slope 
to ensure the adequate bond. Now, where the water is required to be added, the same thing shall be sprinkled from a water tank that is fitted with the sprinkler. So, whenever you are applying the material, then after, if you found necessary, you have to sprinkle the water on that particular layer and that sprinkling should be done uniformly on the surface but without flooding and shall be and it shall be mixed thoroughly in the soil so it should not showing the excessive layer on that particular soil layer if the material delivered to the road bed is too wet it shall be dry by aeration and exposure to the sun till the moisture content is accepted for the compaction. Now at the time of compaction, the moisture content should be in the range of 1% above and 2% below the optimum moisture content. So this particular step says that whenever you are applying the material on the surface, if that material is very dry, you have to sprinkle the water over it, okay? But that water should not be in so excessive manner that it will create another layer on the soil surface. In the second case, if the soil is too wet, for that you have to make the surface dry and then after it, with that also you have to apply the compaction procedure okay to get it at its optimum moisture content okay so if we talk about the compaction after applying the layer the next again you have to compact that particular layer before this procedure we have done compaction at the ground level and after applying the material we are doing compaction on the pavement layer okay so this procedure is for the compaction of a different layer of pavement the compaction shall be done with the help of vibratory roller of 8 to 10 ton static weight the compaction trial shall be carried out on a suitable stretch to determine the number of passes required for a particular type of soil it should be done for embankment to achieve the specified densities as per the more specification based on the trial actual compaction will be carried out with the required number of passes of soil compactor until the specified density is not achieved rolling shall be progress parallel to the center line of the road that is uniformly overlapping each proceeding the track by one third width rolling shall be continued till the specified density is achieved now here subsequent layers shall be placed only after the finished layer has been tested and the, it get accepted with the required specification now the top level of the embankment shall be checked with reference to the longitudinal and cross profile of the road as per the drawing given to the engineer. Now different layers of embankment will be marked on the pillars fixed outside the tall line. So after this compaction the next step should be finishing operation so we can complete the construction of an individual layer. So the finishing operation shall include the work of shaping and the tracing of shoulders or the road bed and the side slope that is provided to the embank to the pavement here the both upper and lower ends of the side slope shall be rounded off to improve the appearance and to merge the embankment with the adjacent terrain here the topsoil get removed and conserved earlier shall be spread over the field slope to facilitate the growth of the vegetation and 
the slope shall be rough and moisturized slightly prior to the application of the topsoil. The depth of the topsoil shall be sufficient and the thickness should be being 75 to 150 millimeter. When earthwork operations have been substantially completed, the road area shall be cleared of all the debris and preparation for the next layer of the pavement should be commenced. So this was all the procedure, stepwise procedure for constructing the embankment or the subgrade. With this, I am concluding this lecture. Thank you so much students for your kind attention. We will see you in the next lecture.